Hello, welcome to the vlog. It's all right, Shannon. No, I'm talking to the camera. Hello, welcome to the vlog again. Part two, take two, whatever it is. Anyway, I've, um, it's kind of on we got. Bailey Pageant, series six. Uh, 13 years old now. So I thought what I'd do is I'd come and reseal the roof and the buckle strap things that go along the side. Uh, just try and keep it a little bit more watertight, a little bit ship shape, lasts us a little bit longer. So I went on YouTube last night. I hope you can hear me. I've got my, uh, my thing on. Uh, I went on YouTube last night to look for any tips and hints and things on how to do it correctly, procedures and stuff. Couldn't find anything, so, um, well, not much anyway. So I've decided to come up and have a little go myself and make this little vlog. Um, maybe help other people who are thinking of doing the same to their caravan. Some people get out of the they're done for them. I'm going to have a go myself. I like to have a little go. So I'll show you what I'm looking at. <coughs> so you can see that uh, it needs a bit of a wipe down, a bit of a damp cloth. But there's this old, old sealant there not looking very nice. So, yeah, look, there's some cracks along there. So it just needs a good, good wipe, clean, make sure it's nice and dry and take any of this old stuff, look at this yuck, off and then put a nice little bead all the way along. Just try and keep the water out for a bit longer till you set it on and get another one. So uh, here it goes. So this is what it looks like. See all this old, all the old sealer cracking and just dry and yuck. So I just give it a bit of a scrape. I've done this little bit. So what I'm going to do now, when I've cleaned all this uh, this off, see so everything done up to there. Keep this all clean. Bring it back to that, and then just give it a nice little bead all the way along. Make sure the surface is nice and clean so that the sealant sticks so it doesn't look like that anymore. I'm going to give these a bit of a, a little splodge over the top as well. Give them another clean. Let's keep this old stuff off. I'll just go over the top. I might even undo the screws and put a bit of sealant into the screws. Let's see how long these do. Look, this probably hasn't been done since. since the caravan was uh, was made probably. So I'll get back to you in a minute when I've done a little bit more. So I've uh, given it a clean, <coughs> taken the old stuff off the, off the old screws, um, given it all a good clean. I've used the uh, hand sanitizer, so to clean the area. This will be the alcohol, it will uh, evaporate quite quick. So that I've got a nice surface for the sealant to sit on. That's clean. So I'm gonna dab some more sealant over the top of the screws. Like I said, I've cleaned the area. Uh, cleaned this side, I've cleaned this side. There's a lot of cracks in this side. I don't know if you can see. In there, it's cracks from the old sealant. So I'm just gonna start chucking some on. Now I'm using Sikaflex 522. Weather resistant age resistant i could do without myself uh mold resistant multi-use cool uh i understand it's got a fair bit of uv protection ah there it is uv protection so that's good too so that should last a few years so let's have a go
So that's one side done. As you can see, okay, it's not the prettiest, but it gets the job done. If it was in my bathroom, I might be a little bit more careful. But the main purpose of this, because no one's going to see on the roof, well, unless we go under the bridge, <coughs> it's just to keep the moisture out. So yeah, now I've got to do this bit. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but let's crack on. So I finished the back bit, <coughs> buckle bit, belt, strap, whatever they call it, I don't know. So I'm going to do the top, as you can see. Got all this, this old sealant, past the sell by date. So I've cleaned it off so far, as you can see. Just taken all the old stuff off there. I'm going to work my way down, getting this stuff off from the rest of the caravan and I'm going to put a tiny bead all the way along the top just to give this a bit of a reseal So, job done. I've done all the, uh, both straps going across the front and rear. Done all down the sides. I've done the aerial and the uh, gas outlet vent. I need to do the openings for the other vents. That'll be another day. Like I said, not the prettiest, but nobody's going to see on the roof and it's doing a job. The things I used were 522 Sikaflex, a bit of hand sanitizer just to clean the surface so that it has a nice adhesive contact, Stanley knife for when needed, toothbrush for getting those little gaps, and obviously my mastic gun. So hopefully now that'll keep it, uh, keep a bit of the water out for a few years. Um, like I said, I've got a few more jobs to do. I'll probably blog that. If you enjoyed this, I found it helpful. I'm really pleased. If anybody's got any better ideas about to do it, said the way I've done it. Please leave the comments below and uh, help other people. Cheers.